begun because sir, my grandfather was a pastor. Okay. He was a pastor, my grandfather. Okay. He he also went to the Israel to see the cross, Jesus okay. tomb. He went there. Okay. And he was a pastor. He when he prayed to on the people, the evil spirits, you know, just get away from the person in the name of Jesus. Okay. He prayed to the people, and he has God has given him a power uh, to. I cast out the demon spirits from the peoples. Okay. And uh, he preached preach the gospel. Okay. In Pakistan here. <laughs> you believe so, you believe Jesus is God Almighty? Almighty, yes, correct. Right. Absolutely. The everlasting Father, Jesus the everlasting Father, according to Isaiah Isaiah nine yes. six. Amen. Do you believe you can lose yes. do you believe you can lose your salvation? Uh, what do you mean? Can you make it easy? Do you believe that you can lose your salvation? Can you lose eternal life? Yeah, we believe that when people will, when you will, uh, when you will not uh, gonna obey the Lord, when you will not gonna, when you will not gonna do the sins which you don't like, then you can lose your eternity. You can lose your salvation. No, well, actually, it tells us. Um, we, we, he's given us eternal life. All we must do is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and we're sealed with that. We, we're sealed with that salvation. We, we're sealed by the Holy Spirit, so we can't lose eternal life. Once, right. once we believe, we're sealed to the day of redemption. So, yeah, but believe. Sir, like, uh, what, what if I say that if a person, if a person is doing the sins, right, mm -hmm. and he. He believes in Jesus, all right. Uh, the person believes in Jesus, and he start doing the sins. And he start doing the sins. Then he didn't ask for the forgiveness from God. Then he can lose his salvation. No, he can lose his life. It, Just like in First Corinthians five, the, the the guy was sinning. He was fornicating, living in fornication. Um, God, uh, he, Paul gave him over to Satan for the destruction of the flesh, but that the soul and the spirit may be saved in the day of our Lord. Our spirit is saved for eternal life, but we, 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 but if, we can die. Because Jesus what paid for our sin. Say, uh, yeah. let, uh, give me an answer, brother. Uh, what if, what if a person uh, obey Jesus? All right, he is living a life in God. He's a godly person. He's a very righteous person. Obey every person, everything from God, and uh, suddenly the thing become change and he just go to the sins and do the and live a sinful life mm -hmm. and the day of his death comes and he die in sin mm -hmm. so what well jesus paid for our sin the only way we become righteous is by believing on him he accounts our, Jesus Jesus's righteousness for us there's no way we right. can, there's but no first, way that we can we first, can please god by by our works our works don't please him so you're believing in a right, works-based salvation but what i'm saying but what i'm saying brother that a person living a good life exactly he there's no one sin. he said we've all so fallen short there's no one living and a good he, life he, we've all and fallen he didn't short ask forgiveness. and he didn't ask forgiveness before dying yeah and so what do you think? He will not go to the hell? He will go to the heaven still? Yeah, Jesus, he said, by and by him, we have been, he, he saved us from all sin. Yeah. All they believe. See, it's it. Well, and, and so you think, you think, you think that if we believe in Jesus, even though we are doing sin, still we will go to heaven? That's it, what you're trying to say? He paid for those sins. It says, and by him all that believe are justified from all things, but right? from which he could not be justified me, by, uh, by the I law really of Moses. I really understand your perception and everything, what you're saying. Just give me a one answer in a simple words, which I'm asking from you. If a person accepts Jesus and he's living a good life, Ex Jesus, accepting right. or more saving. It's not accepting. Now, suddenly, it's believe on the Lord Jesus now, Christ suddenly, to be saved. Right. Now suddenly he fell in sin. Yeah. And he died. He died in sin. He died in sin. Mm -hmm. so where he will go? Just we, give me an answer. Where he will go? Well, we, we all die in sin, but Jesus paid for that sin. That's what I'm saying. Our flesh sins. Our, no, sir, our flesh profiteth nothing. Let me tell yeah. you. Yeah. Let me 
No, no, the only way no the only way you're righteous is by believing on Jesus. Your 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 works don't make you righteous. Jesus makes and, you righteous. And even, and, and even though you are doing sins, then still you are going to heaven? Well, that's not righteousness. Righteousness is when we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. He accounts it for righteousness, just like he did with Abraham. And Abraham believed God, and God accounted it for righteousness. You must believe on him to be righteous, not not works. It's, it says, for by grace are you saved. Yeah, but for by grace. Well, wait, real quick. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It's the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. God's gift is, is salvation. It's, it's, not, it's not your righteousness. He says, none of us are righteous. No, not one. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. So your sins have, your, your sins are paid for by Jesus. Jesus paid for every sin. He paid, he paid for every sin. Yeah. Yeah, every sin is paid for. Yeah. Okay, cool. I just want to share that gospel with you. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. He was buried. He rose from the grave and he was seen risen. He came unto his own. His own received him not. But you can receive him by believing on him today. I want to answer from you. I yeah. want to answer from you. I yeah. want to be on my mind. Yeah. If a person is living a sinful life and he accepts Jesus. It's not accepting. It's not about accepting. But accepting it won't save you. You got to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what I told you. Everyone lives a sinful life. So what, what, what you want to believe in? What you want to believe in? Can you tell me? Oh, you believe in Jesus. Believe that he died on the cross for our sins. He was buried. He rose from the grave and he was seen. And believe that Jesus is God Almighty. And believe that he came unto his own, his own receiving that. not. I believe that. Yeah. But still, but, but but you're doing sin. But no, you believe and in all your works. You to but you believe in all your if works. You sin, so listen, if, if still yeah. you do hey. sin, you That's okay. Heaven? That's okay. I don't have time to argue with you. I just wanted to preach that gospel to you. I hope you receive that, okay? Have a good day. Don't do sins, okay? Okay. All right. Believe on Jesus. Yeah, he believes on works. Don't do on sins won't save you. Jesus paid for your sin. Believe on Jesus.